Hello everybody, my name is Ed McClements. I'm the fifth born of Dorothy's eight children. We thought uh, as we are now approaching Dorothy's 109th birthday, which will occur on May 7th of this year, 2018. We wanted to capture uh, and share with you just a little bit of what each of us as, um, as her children have been sharing this miracle uh, of her lifetime. I know it says in the Bible that uh, God grants so many years and if we live those years uh, well, he adds a little bit to it. Um, well, I think my mom must be one of God's favorites uh, to reach this milestone of 109. Um, she's seen a lot of changes in her life uh, and now as she has come through her uh, um, centennial years, um, all of the family has continued to honor her and to help one of her requests become a reality. Of course, all of us as we get older, um, we face disabilities and at certain times uh, many of us uh, will experience being in a nursing home. I think I heard a statistic that at least a third of us will spend three to six months or longer in a nursing home. Well, my mother was born in this house at 9 Lake Street, which the address has now changed to 91 County Road 76 in Stillwater, New York. Um, uh, so being born here, all of her memories are cherished uh, with the experiences of uh, being a little girl um, and uh, a young lady and uh, marrying uh, my dad, uh, Robert McClements, Bob McClements, and uh, uh, raising eight children. Um, right to my right is the bedroom in which uh, six of us were actually born. Um, only the last three, I believe, were born in hospitals. So, a very exciting place uh, uh, that we've been able to honor her wishes and seeing that uh, she never had to go to a nursing home. Maybe it was her good planning and having eight children because uh, it's been now for the last 10 to 15 years as her health um, has uh, diminished somewhat, mobility and whatnot, uh, she has needed one of the eight children to be here 24-7. And so we want to share with you each of our individual experiences. In just in a moment you're going to meet Dorothy and she just finished a new poem with uh, her daughter Debbie. Uh, my sister, uh, and they're going to recite that poem for you. So that is really a highlight. Mm -hmm. Looks like a nice day, doesn't it? I'm holding a book that was written uh, to really? celebrate. Well, I put photos together of your lifetime. What? I put photos together of your whole lifetime as a little girl and when you were a young woman having your children and all the happy times that were shared in this house. I put a book together celebrating <laughs> this was when you were just 100 years old. Mm. One of the things in the book is a special poem that does more to capsulize my mom's life than anything else that I can imagine. It's a poem and it's written about this old house. Like so mom house. and I are going to uh, be saying this together. Uh, we're going to say this together, mom, okay? The title is This Old House and you're going to start. This old house, like a poem rare, has memories looking everywhere. The cracked window panes, the peeling paint, it all stands like a patient saint. In the years gone by, in the years gone by, 
We had our dreams. We had our dreams. Of fixing. And up so the shingles would clean. But the children. Came fast. Soon there was a crowd. And with pets, friends, and toys, the laughter was loud. Now the family comes home and looks with alarm. And they gaze upon the, the crumbling old barn. crumbling barn. Oh, and we've had our troubles. Some of them grim. But we struggled through them. them. And we never gave in. So now through the years, with work still and done, we set out in our big yard, out in the sun, thinking what failures to our neighbors we might see. It's as lovely as to but, us as it looked in our dreams. We've done our best with what we had. Some was good, and some was bad. So this old house stands in glum repair if it only knew to us what it dreams it's just it, lovely to us as it looks in our dreams thank you mom that's a wonderful story you like it yes oh i like it it's wonderful thank you you are famous because your poem is written in a book what book this book the Dorothy book, the happy birthday Dorothy, 100 years. Dorothy's memories, actually it says at 102. Mm -hmm. Now your birthday's coming up next week. Do you know how old you're going to be? No. 109. <laughs> 109. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? It is. It's a wonderful thing. And I know one of the things that you have held on to all through your years is that you love to say prayers. Is it okay if Carol sits with you and recites some of the prayers you like best? Okay? Okay, let's do that next. Yeah, uh, Mom, it's Carol, Mom. Hi. How are you today? Pardon? How are you today, Mom? I'm fairly good, dear. Thank I would you. say, well, you look lovely. You look so pretty today, Mom. God bless you. Well, I came so we could say a couple of prayers together. We're going to say the Our Father. Would you like to say that with me? Because you say it beautiful, and I love praying with you, Mom. I can't quite hear her. We're going to say the Our Father together. Would you like to say that? Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it, as it is, is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Amen. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother, Mother of, of God, God, pray for our sinners, sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And now we're going to say one of our favorites, Angel of God, my and dear, to whom God's love has brought me here, ever this day be at my side, to light, to guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Mom, for the blessing of saying prayers with you. I love you. <laughs> I love you, too. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, this will be a little separate Beautiful section day. I'll cut here. Mm -hmm. But uh, mm -hmm. tell her, uh, let's have her sing her song. <laughs> we'll, uh, whether Where we'll put that, I'm not sure. But so. lead her into that, yeah. Mom, I was thinking, since we're in a good mood, how about if we sing our special song together? What is it? <laughs> 
Uh, had a little drink. No, I, I'm trying to remember the beginning. Um, uh, I don't want to go to bed. Oh, how's it begin? <laughs> it's okay. I'm I can't cut I want to go to bed. Um, oh. Show me the way to go home. I'm tired and I want to go to bed. Had a little drink about an hour ago and it went, went right, right to, to my head. head. No matter where, where I go, go land or sea or, sea or home, home. <laughs> you can always hear me singing this, this song. song. Show it that way to go home. Yeah, that's <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> it's cute. It is. That was fun singing it with you, Mom. It makes my heart happy. <laughs> you make my heart happy. <laughs> How about peace, peace? Oh, I don't yeah, know. yeah. Not right. Not right now. <laughs> she taught us that one. That, no. All right. Uh, okay. One more. One more thing we're going to do, and that's that very special prayer that you taught Eddie and myself. That you have uh, That you taught. You taught me and Eddie this prayer. What a healing Jesus we have found in you. What a healing Jesus you restore, refresh, and renew. What a healing Jesus for such a time as this. Arise on healing wings. Son of righteousness, peace, peace, wonderful, wonderful peace, peace. Come comes down from, from the, the Father, Father above. above. Peace, 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 peace. Wonderful, wonderful peace. peace comes down from, from the, the Father, Father above. above. Yes, beautiful, Mom. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, I think we're going to be blessed today. <laughs> yes, Mom, that's one of our special favorites between you and me. <laughs> Then all to the house. <laughs> not, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. <laughs> the children were hung. <laughs> the the, the <laughs> stockings were hung. Not the children. That was funny. <laughs> God forbid. That the chimney was care, in hopes that Saint Nicholas would soon be there. Yes. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar, sugar plums dance, dance in their, their heads. heads. And Mama in her kerchief and Papa in his cap had, had just settled their down for a long, long winter's nap. nap. <laughs> when out on the lawn there arose such a so clatter, there sprang I, such a noise. I sprang from the bed better. to see what was the matter. <laughs> One more, here we go. Uh, away to the window. Oh. I flew like a flash, tore open the shutter, and threw up the it's sash. Like the moon on the breast of the new fallen snow so, gave the luster of midday to objects. Children for love. <laughs> children too. <laughs> when what to my wondering eyes should appear, but a miniature sleigh and a tiny, a tiny reindeer, with a lively old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. <laughs> More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came. Okay. He whistled and shouted and he called, called him by name. name. Now Dasher, now Dancer. Sir. Now, dancer in friction. On Comet, on Cupid, on Donder, and Blitzen. Mm. <laughs> <It's even> better. <laughs> uh, so, oh, let me see. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now, dash away, dash away, dash away all. Great, Mom. As dry leaves that fly, or that be, uh, I'll say that again. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle mount to the sky, so up to the housetop, the coursers they flew, 
with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas. St. Nicholas too. Yes. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each, each little fool. True. Mm. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. <laughs> he was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. <laughs> A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkle, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, and his nose like a cherry. <laughs> his droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow. And the beard on his chin was as white as the sun. That's it. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth. And the smoke, it encircled his head like a wreath. Yes. <laughs> he had a broad face and a round little belly that shook. Like he laughed with terrible little jelly. <laughs> Yes, he was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed. And I laughed when I saw him, in spite of myself. Very good, Mom. <laughs> a wink of his eye, a twist of his head, soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work. He filled all the stockings. He turned with a jerk. Yes and laying his finger on the side of his nose. He gave a nod and up the, the chimney. Up the chimney he rose. That's it. <laughs> he sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. Yes. <laughs> but I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Beautiful, Mom. <laughs> that was wonderful. <laughs> these are good things to do to say these, Mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you haven't forgotten them. <laughs> yep. You're resting? Resting, yeah. Nice out today. It is. Would you like to go out? Well, I like to sit here. You don't want to, want to go outside? Not right now. Mm -hmm. Maybe later. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your hair is all done up. Did Debbie do it for you? I think so. Well, you look very nice today yeah. and you're blue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's a good day. It is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, today. To sit here and in your own house around. with the sun coming in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful day. Yeah. Beautiful day in the neighborhood, as That's Mr. Right. Rogers said. Mm -hmm. Right? Beautiful day in the neighborhood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you want to take a little snooze? That would be good, wouldn't it? Sure. We could do that. All mm -hmm. right. You ready? I could be ready. Okay. So, I'll say three and we'll both take a little snooze. All right. One, two, three. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> uh, funny. <laughs> You're snoring even. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that was a quickie. <laughs> that was a quick snooze. Yep. So you're going to go to sleep for real now? You want to take a real nap? Maybe. Hmm? All right, put your head on my shoulder here. Okay, there. Okay, now? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But I have to go home. You have? I do. When? 
Well, in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. But I'll be back. All right. Okay. I'll be waiting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm here with Dorothy, who I met maybe 70 years ago in peddling milk here for the first time. Met her daughter Joan. <laughs> Took me by surprise, but I fell in love, married her, spent in the last 67 years married to her. We have seven wonderful kids, and it's been a real pleasure to be here. Where do I live? She's talking to me, but I don't know what she's saying. What? Hi. Where do I live? You live right here with me. What? <laughs> you live right here. Uh, it's been a real pleasure to be a member of this family for so many years. Here we are, Mother. Here you are. A hundred and nine years old. And I'm your oldest son. You call me Buddy because Dad's name was Bob. And you used to call Bob, and both of us would come at once. So that was a nickname that you gave me, and it stood all over Stillwater, and everybody calls me Buddy now. Here I am, close to your age. You know, actually, you're more like a sister to me, almost than a brother. We're so close to I, the age. What? We're almost... You're almost like my sister as well as a mother, uh -huh. because we both grew up around the 30s and the 40s and 50s. You've seen the first talkie movies, huh. you know, and I used to always try to imitate Al Jolson to you. Remember, I always come up and I'd say, Mammy, you're my little mammy. I'd walk a million miles for one of your smiles, my mammy. Remember that, Mommy? When I used to do that? I think so. Okay. Well, you know something? Over the past, you know, 50 years or so that I've lived in the house and we see the things that I try to imagine were the same as they were a long time ago. And you so well put it in your poem, This Old House, because every time I stop by, I know this is the place I was born and the place I'll always come back to for the rest of my life. And I think all Eddie went from California, but he always knew where the home was back in Stillwater, and now he's got a beautiful place there. <coughs> I have a little coal, and I don't want to give it to you, so I'm not going to be talking too what long. What was it? Uh, what did you say it was? Mom, open your eyes. I want, I wanted to say one more thing though, Mother, there's one thing that we both had in common, and that was another mother, and that was Nana. We oh, called her many. Huh? I loved we, her. Oh, so did I. And you used to sell popcorn, and you used to sell uh, little pot cheeses and cookies for, and uh, you always be, you were always able to get through the depression always had food on the table for everyone and you were as a mother I would always say <coughs> after bringing up eight of us uh, through those years from one to ten I'll always give you a ten. Say one of the prayers with her was her favorite prayer My guardian person. angel. Oh she was. My guardian. Now we're gonna we'll say the Our Father together mom. No the guardian angel. Angel of God, my guardian dear. Who oh, God's love has brought me here. Ever this day. Be at my side. To enlighten guard. And ru rule, rule and, and guide. Very good. Now we'll say one Hail Mary. Hail, Hail Mary. Mary, full of grace. The Lord, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou. It's oh. the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary. Mother of God. Pray for our sinners. Now and at the hour. Of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, Son, and, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Mom, you're going to be celebrating your 109th birthday this week. 
and we've been coming down and helping you for the last 10 years. I've been staying overnight. I'm like a babysitter. <laughs> but you like people to be right near you, don't you? Huh? I don't know. You don't know? You don't remember? <coughs> you don't know. You have so many people taking care of you that love you. And we all talk about Nana. She was your favorite, wasn't she? She was like your mother. Right? Right. Yeah. And you talk about her quite a bit. You remember everything that she did. And I remember when she bought Buddy an ice cream cone and she didn't give it to you, she gave it to her. <laughs> remember? Do you remember that? No. No, you don't <laughs> remember that? <laughs> he went right by your bedroom and he had the ice cream and it was dripping <coughs> all down his arm. <laughs> and he brought it to Nana, but you didn't even care. You said, oh, that's all right. Nana does everything for us, right? She was a very good person. I wished I had gotten to meet her, but I never. She had died before I came into the picture. But you've been a wonderful mother. And we don't mind taking care of you. Okay, it's been 737 years, years right, that, uh, that, that we have been. We have been, the whole family, family plus you, the ages of us, and it's over 737 years. Now that's a lot of years. And, and this you, is one of the reasons why Mother, we're all together today. We live so that you will live. We try to take good care of ourselves, and we're willing to give up our, our time during w all kinds of weather. We travel probably uh, 30 miles uh, every week, uh, both of us, and uh, we're willing to sacrifice this because we love you so. Then there's no other woman that's ever lived this long, and we hope that we live to be 110 at least another year. We hope that you're going to give us so that <clears throat> we're willing to be giving you the love that you deserve. But you, your wish was never to go in a nursing home. And that and has thank been God. fulfilled so far. Because our neighbors have went there and they never lasted, not because they didn't have the love that you have. Love is what keeps you going. And it's bringing our family together. We have done this over 10 years. And this has brought the family closer together because we see each other every usually th every week. Oh, and we'll see once some a year, the family. Our whole clan gets together. That used to be twice a year during Thanksgiving and Christmas. But now every Thanksgiving, we are all together, oh, probably 120 of us. And this has, and we've been doing this for, oh, 20 years. Oh, 100 yeah. and some of us. And we are certainly willing to <coughs> strive to do this for a good many more years. But you're the nucleus, you're the one, you're the queen that has kept us all together. Describe the whiteboard. Oh, we have a oh. schedule on the whiteboard in the kitchen that we all go by. When we're supposed to be here, how long we're here, and it's all scheduled for us, so we know every week what we're doing. And uh, some of them come twice a day, and some of us come twice a night, at night and stay, because you have to have 24-hour care. And we try to do that the best we can, Mother. Uh, yeah, the boys have uh, certainly been able to uh, close their eyes when you are getting dressed. We try to make sure that you have your dignity all the time. And uh, we respect the way that you are, are living and the amount of Where patience. Right here, ma'am. And I just love to hold your hand. What do you want? How do I want? That, mother, I, I'd like a couple dollars. Do you think you could spare it? 
He wants a couple dollars. Do well, you think you could give it dollars. to him? I would if I had it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> ma'am, you do have it. You have money coming in from the railroad. You have your pension check. Oh, the railroad's going to be broke. I know it. You have been getting a pension all these years. They I, even yeah. call to see if you're really here. I, I know. And they came to see you one day just to make sure. What? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, why am I holding your hand? Here for a while. You want to sit here for a while? You want okay. to? You can sit there for a while. Do you want to hold my hand? You want to hold Buddy's hand? Well, it does I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> you used to say, "Buddy, hold my hand." Hmm. Yeah. I now pronounce you man and wife. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is that good? Mm-hmm. Is that good? Uh -huh. Well, we went to the farm, Gary and Ruth and I, uh -huh. and we went to see all the little goats. Oh. And then the sheep, and they were the babies that were born this spring. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They were cute. Oh, they were adorable. Yeah. And they had, uh, it was at uh, St. Mary's Episcopal uh, Church, uh, Christ the King. It was up in the mountains. Mm. And, you know, oh, you should have seen the scenery, Mama. It was beautiful, you know. Mm. You were looking up over all of the mountains and the hills. And we went to uh, two other farms. Uh, there was uh, the baby sheep. They were all born this spring, too. But where it was at St. Mary's, uh, there's sisters. I didn't know the Episcopalians used sisters, did you? They were the ones in the black habits with the, mm -hmm. yep. And they make, they make stuff that they sell. They what? They make stuff that they sell. They had uh, some rhubarb jam. I bought you a bottle of it. I'll have to bring mm -hmm. it up for you, okay? Rhubarb jam. Do you remember that? Not quite. Did Nanny used to make rhubarb jam? What were they? Rhubarb jam. Yeah. Did mm -hmm. Nana make that? Uh huh. I, I'm not sure. Uh, I think so. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was very. It was very beautiful up there. The gorgeous church, sitting right up on a high mountain. Mm. Mm. You would have loved it. Would you like to go up there? Someday. Well, in the summer when it's beautiful, you'd get a kick out of seeing the nuns in their habits like they used to wear years ago. Are you falling asleep on me? Mm-hmm. You are? <laughs> are you going to are you going to stay awake and talk to me? What? Are you going to stay awake and talk to me? Yes, I'm awake. You are? Mm-hmm. Was Mary Alice here this morning? No. No? Who was here with you this morning? Mm hmm? Who was here with you this morning, Mom? I thought Mary Alice stayed last night, didn't she? No. No? Oh, okay. Did you have breakfast? You know something. Cereal? Did you have any of your, that we were going to buy it yesterday, more of that maple syrup? Yeah. But they didn't sell it at the farm we went yeah. at. So we didn't get any, but I'll get you some. You like the maple syrup, don't you? Mmm. Mmm. And your cream of wheat cereal? Pardon. And your cream of wheat cereal? Mm hmm Did you get any toast this morning? We ran out of bread last night. I what? We ran out of bread last night. Did you have any toast this morning? Did somebody bring toast this morning? I don't remember that. You don't? You had your coffee, right? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. And who's going to be here for lunch today? I don't know. I think Gary and Ruth. Uh, maybe. Gary's a good cook. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Yeah. Yeah. But Ruth is probably the one who made dinner for you, right? Mm -hmm. No, Price Chopper or somebody else. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did you hear Ruth? <laughs> she said it was probably Price Chopper. <laughs> What's it been like for the family and uh, as all of us coming together and caring for Mom for how many years has it been since she broke her hip? Do you remember, Mom, the year that you broke your hip? I broke what? A hip. Hip. Yep. Your leg. You had oh. to have surgery. Yeah. Do you remember the doctor 
He was Jackie's cousin or brother or something. Jackie, uh, David McClemens's mm -hmm. Jr.'s wife. Do you remember? He was a relative of hers. Mm -hmm. And he didn't want to do your surgery because of your age. But when he talked to you, when he saw how sharp you were, he said, yeah, I guess I will do it. Do you remember that? Not good. That was the year Colleen and I were going to Greece. Mm -hmm. So when you were in the hospital, what did I say? I said, Mom, you go to rehab, and if you're able to walk, you won't have to worry. We'll keep you at home, and you'll be right in your own house like always. No nursing homes or nothing for you. Okay? Mm -hmm. Do you remember me saying that? A little bit. Yeah? And you went to rehab, and you worked hard so you could walk again. Do you remember all that? Mm -hmm. Do you remember being at the rehab place? A little bit. Mm. And I think that was back in, what, 96, maybe? 1996, uh, I think. Or 97. Hmm. Ian, when I come home, that's when we put up the schedule on the board. Someone had to be here 24-7. Remember that? Not good. Well, we had to make the chart, and everybody had to do their part. And then we started staying overnight with you, and then somebody had to come and cover the day hours. You remember all that? I really don't remember it awfully well. But we said, Mom, this is a blessing. It's a blessing for all of us, because mm -hmm. it means then that we all get to spend time with you, right? Mm -hmm. So we take turns, but we're all here. Mm -hmm. Did you like that, having your family yeah. all together again? Right. Right, and a couple of years ago, Eddie came home too, the last one in California, mm. huh? So now all eight of us are all here with you, huh? Yep. Who's your favorite, Mom? It's me, isn't it? I can't remember. Mom, anything. you do. Who's your favorite? Isn't it always me? Yes, <laughs> yes. it is. That's right, Mom, uh -huh. always me. <laughs> you know the right answers, don't mm -hmm. you? <laughs> Uh-huh. We're so lucky that we have you, aren't we? Oh, yes. We are. <laughs> we're so lucky that we have you, because that means we're all here, too. So we're all together just like we were when we were kids, huh? Yep. <laughs> uh, you know how much we care about you, don't you? I hope so. Mm-hmm. But you do love me best, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> All right, Mommy. <laughs> I'm not really sure where to start with this. What, honey? Would you like to say your prayers this morning? Would I what? Want to say prayers this morning? I, I, I wouldn't know now. Okay, Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full, full of grace. grace. The Lord, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among Most women. women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Jesus. Holy. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. You want to say the Our Father? Our Father who art in heaven, oh. hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. 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 You have one favorite prayer, Mom. What? It's not in season, but what about the Christmas prayer? About what? The Christmas prayer, the, your novena, hail and blessed be the hour and the moment, moment in which the Son of God was born, born the most pure virgin, virgin Mary, Mary at midnight at in Bethlehem. Bethlehem. In the pure and that hour, vouchsafe, O oh God, to hear our prayers, prayers and grant our, our petitions through the merits of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and, and His most blessed, blessed, blessed Mother. Mom, how many years ago we used to say that every year? You'd call and remind me it was November 30th. Yeah. And then we'd both say the prayer from then to Christmas. Huh? That was yeah. one of our favorites. Huh. One of our favorites. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Being with mom has been a gift. It's certainly been a gift these 10 years. They haven't been easy 10 years. 
10 years ago, she wasn't quite 100 when mom broke her hip. And at that time, it was the decision because mom said she never wanted to leave her home. She never wanted to be in a nursing home or away from what was familiar to her. So we made a decision, the eight of us, that we would bring her home and do our best to care for her as long as she needed the care. At that time, none of us understood it'd be 10 years. I said, but here she is 109. She was 99 at that time. So that's 10 years that day and night we've had round the clock care for 10 years. And that has not been always an easy thing. It's been difficult at times, but it's been priceless. I, the, the things that we've gained has far outweighed that that we put in. Uh, among the things is the closeness of us as brothers and sisters. There's not many families where people, the ages that we are, almost get to see each other or talk to each other or know what's going on in our lives every single week, every week. Uh, that's priceless. That's To me, that's priceless. Uh, and not just my brothers and sisters, but even my sister-in-laws. They've been gifts of God. They've, they've pitched in uh, and they've cared for mom like she was their own mother. And it's truly been a blessing. Blessing to us seeing that in them, but it's the whole thing has been a, a blessing. There's nights I've gone home. I'd be lying if I said it was all joy because I've sat here nights and cried through the night. I've gone home crying all the way home. The tears usually are because we've seen mom in what appeared to be torment and hard time getting through that period. And I always knew it was tough to see your children hurt, but I know now it's even tougher, it seems, to see your mom hurt and not know the answers or not know how to, how to make it different. But we've went through those as God would say seasons, I guess. They were short, and as you look back, they weren't at the time they happened. But all in all, uh, the season passed, and then you'd have the special, special times of seeing her. One time reminds me, I come to mind the most, is just about two weeks ago. We're from a generation that never told each other that we loved each other so much. Back years ago, I guess we just were expected to know it. And I sat one night, and it was a difficult night. And I was at my end of my strength and end of what I had to give. And I thought, no, no more, Ma, please. I can't do one more time getting up. And then the quietly, I heard her voice say, I love you. I love you. It was like a gift that came right from heaven. In fact, I'm not sure whether it was her talking to God or her talking to me, but I grabbed it. But I, And then I thought since then, maybe it was God talking to both of us, putting those words at a time when she had been very restless and uh, having a difficult night to a soft, quiet, peaceful, I love you. Uh, that read was like a shot of adrenaline. I could have done anything, I think, at that point. My strength was renewed. Uh, my patience was renewed. And I think that even though there's been rough times for every one of us, we've gone through a lot of things in our own personal lives between deaths and sickness and and many many struggles in these 10 years however it's still we come back to the same anchor uh if i wanted to say one thing about my my life i would have to say home was a safe haven and what a wonderful gift that is uh and mom and dad gave us that gift uh we weren't warm and cuddly at all times and we, 
I don't even know if they went to special occasions at school or things like that. But I always knew my home was a safe haven. Mom would tear down mountains to fight for us if we needed someone to fight for us. And so would Dad. And so would Dad. So these 10 years have been uh, more blessing than anything. And it's a treasure sometimes to sit. Now she said, often says, just hold my hand. And I think, I remember being a little kid thinking to Mom, just hold my hand. Now it's reversed. And to hold her hand is a, a gift. But who knows? Maybe we'll have another 10 years. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'll make it and some of us will make it, but these 10 have been a gift, a gift of God uh, to us. Uh, caring for Mom has been, a, has been wonderful. And she's, you look at her and she's amazing. Just amazing. So I think I'm done. <laughs>
Where are you going? <laughs> no place. What? No place. We're going to stay right here. Who's We're going to stay here. Ruth is right here. Ooh. See, Ruth? Get right over me. there. Gary, my back hurts. Okay. Hi, Mom. Hello, dear. <laughs> How are you doing today? <laughs> well, I guess I'm doing okay. Yeah, I think so. Let's do the song. Huh? Well, this is the day, this is, is the day, day that, that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made, we will rejoice and be glad in it. Like this, this is the day. day. This, this is the day, day that the Lord, Lord has made. made. Good. Good job. I wanted to be able to hear it. Yeah. <laughs> good. Okay. Oh. Okay. Have you had a lot of company, Mom? When? Have you had a lot of company last couple of days? Have I had a lot of company? Yeah. I don't know. I don't remember, did I? Okay, maybe. Maybe you did. <laughs> I think maybe you did. What? How many years, Gary? What do you want to do today? What? What do you want to... <clears throat> My voice. I didn't hear, hon. What do you want to do today, Mom? To drink? No. What do you want to do? Huh? Well, I'd rather just sit here and, <laughs> and look at everybody. Okay. Oh, wow. That's yeah. good. Yeah. We can do that. Mm -hmm. We'll sit right next to you. Mom, do you know how old you're going to be on your what? birthday? What? How old I'm going to be? Yes. yes. Do you know? No, how old? 109 on May 7th, 2018. Hmm. 2018, not do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel that old? No. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah. She's funny. Yeah, you got that cover in your face. She yeah. likes it. <clears throat> That's her new, her new thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's been spiritual, Gary, all her life. What are some of the things? spiritually that you see in mom at this stage of her life? Uh -huh. Well, my voice is going. You want to give me a Kleenex or something? <coughs> well, she's always praying to God. Right. Yeah. She's always praying, please help me, God. And he's been helping her for, what, almost 109 years, mm. whether she knows or not. <laughs> yeah. And uh, there was uh, a time I'd come up here, and Mom and Dad would be uh, standing up, their arms up in the air, and they'd be watching the 700 Club. <laughs> and they'd be singing different hymns. And uh, that was good. It was good to see, and uh, mm -hmm. it gave me confidence mm -hmm. where they were going. Because they both said they believed, mm -hmm. and that's mm -hmm. what our whole faith is based on, that belief. Mm -hmm. And I, uh, I think that uh, the uh, priests from St. Luke have... Uh, have been very good in coming and visiting with mom and and sharing and giving her communion when they come. Mm -hmm. Father John. Father Johnny and Father, Father Dave. Dave. Yeah. Good. What would you like to say? Put me on the spot. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I've got to say, I'm proud to have her as my mother-in-law. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We've had our ups and downs, but mostly our ups. Mm -hmm. It's very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
God, God has blessed mom for many years, and we think of 108 as a long time. But in the whole scheme of God's plan, it's a very short time. A grain of sand. And uh, eternal life, which mom's going to have, with dad and with some of the other relatives. Leela. Leela. Helen. All part of God's promise. Billy. We like that. That makes us feel good. Thinking of God's promise. Share too, Gary. What do you think it's done for us, the eight of us? What has been the blessing coming back? for the last 10 years. Are we closer than we would have been otherwise? I'm not sure about that part, but I believe one part is that God has given us a lesson to learn from. That uh, when things got difficult, as far as a hearing and like that, and when you repeat something over and over, you get louder and louder. And uh, Patience. and sometimes uh, we, when we leave, we don't feel good about how loud we had to get because we don't feel it's right. We're almost yelling. Uh, but when we think back on the questions, when mom asks a question for maybe the tenth time, it's really only one time. She's not remembering the other nine times right. that she asked the same question. And uh, when we do have the patience to do it in a, in a good way, uh, I think that it brings us closer to the patience that we hope, well, we know, God has with yeah. us. How many times do we ask for forgiveness for the same thing? Mm -hmm. Maybe just a word different or a action different, but actually the same thing that we ask. So uh, when we remember that uh, what we want God to forgive us for and to have patience with us work is what we need to share the same. You've Some, had training uh, as a home health aide in the past, yes. so yeah. you've been into a lot of homes uh -huh. uh, as uh, people have aged and had all kinds of disabilities and what not to deal with. Yes. Um, and so you've learned a lot about what it's like to go through that aging process. Mm -hmm. And I guess there's not a lot to be afraid of, but the greatest asset that you can have as you approach those things is having a close relationship with your children mm -hmm. yeah. and your mm -hmm. daughters-in-laws who have been so amazing uh, mm -hmm. in coming forth and daughters and sons and um, that's a wealth that nobody can ever take away from you. Yeah. God, uh, he expects children to take care of their parents. Uh, you know, society kind of teaches us a different way at times. Take care of yourself first. You know, if there's enough left over, you can share. But, uh, uh, that I don't believe that's God's way. No. That, you've uh, got to make um, sacrifices, you know. Yeah. Uh, Mom would have blessed us long if she had been in a nursing home. So y'all did make the right decision to keep her home as long as we could. Yeah, I and, definitely uh, believe that, you know? too. Yeah. And uh, the socialization, um, you don't get that in a nursing home. You don't get yeah. one on one-on-one -on -one care. Mm -hmm. So... So it's kind of like uh, the return of a gift. 
the gift she gave us, yeah. getting through our earlier years, and they weren't all upbeat. There was some down, but See, you know life. it was still together. It wasn't like split up because uh, mom and dad stayed wow. together through the tough times, and uh, I think that that was. Definitely a lesson for all of us that that can be done, even when we go through our tough times. Yeah. That uh, being together, being married, and <laughs> sharing that yeah. work involved. Yeah. Yeah. It says some fun involved too, right, Ruth? Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're born uh, very dependent, and as we get closer to our advancing age, when we're going to be with God, uh, we're going back to that same state of dependency. Yeah. 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 And uh, God willing, there's a children that you've invested your life into that are there to care about you and yeah. uh, to so. do just the things that you say, Gary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, keep well, a family together. Yeah. And and love something each other. About that, going back uh, when you get older to almost childlike things. Like that. And it says in the Bible, unless yeah. you become as a child, uh, you don't make it. You know, mm -hmm. it's uh, there's something in the child nature, acceptance or faith in your parents at that time when you're younger mm -hmm. that, uh, that they'll treat you right and be good to you. Now she has to trust us. Yes. Take yeah. her, her yeah. the right way. Yeah. And we have to be trustworthy. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> oh, yes. And you all have been. I, uh, as a, a man, I could not ever be prouder of my brothers and sisters and sister-in-laws uh, for what I've nap? seen Oh, Mom, years. you can take a nap. Uh, you sure can. Nap. Huh? Are you tired? A little tired. Okay. You can take a nap. <laughs> you can always take a nap, Mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. okay, I'm Debbie. And, um, I'm mom's youngest daughter, and over the past 10 years when she's needed care, I think as a mother, she's taught me as many lessons in life uh, in the last 10 years as in the first 10 years. Mm -hmm. And what she has taught, or what I have seen and observed in her, is how difficult it is to go from being independent and a caretaker to being the per person that has to receive care and trust other people. And steadily over the 10 years, it's been more and more dependence on others. And how difficult it is, like our trust, our sense of trust, uh, while we're somewhat healthy and independent, we don't have any concept of what it means to really have to trust in God to work through whoever is around or uh, in, you know, the caretakers. So that lesson in trusting is how difficult a lesson that is, is uh, I've been able to observe in mom. And mom is always saying, God help me, God help me, Jesus help me. <laughs> and you realize that to what degree do you allow Jesus to work through you to answer somebody else's prayer. And that everybody we meet has prayers and that to what degree do we allow ourselves to be used to answer that other individual's prayer. And um, I also was thinking that in one part of the Bible it says, uh, we love him because he first loved us. And the truth is, it's like with our mother, we love her because she first loved us when we were totally helpless. 
totally helpless and really had nothing more to give. But why did she love us? Just the fact that we were. Just that we existed. And that, um, that's, um, like how easy it is to give back when, um, when you have that love, when you know that you were loved first. It's so easy to, even when, at this point, she doesn't distinguish in between us. So we're kind of interchangeable. I can be Gary or David or Mary Alice or Carolyn, and that doesn't matter anymore because in a way we are all mm. one, you know, to her, and that she loved all of us first, and that makes it easy. Now, last night, I'm also extremely impressed by how her thinking and her brain and the thought processes. And last night, um, her ability to rhyme, we were starting a poem. Some of these are mine, but there are a few specific lines that were hers. And uh, so I said, I'm 109. And, and I said, what would go with that, Mom? She says, I don't sit and pine. <laughs> I find I don't have that time. <laughs> I I thank the Lord. I'm never bored. I thank him for my bird who was always being heard. Um, grandpa, grandpa is what he squawks. I think he would really like to talk. What do you think he would say? And this is her line. Maybe he would rather walk than talk. <laughs> or perhaps he would like to say, Happy Birthday. Because her birthday is coming up. Okay. <laughs> so, I was working in the rock garden. You know who I am? I'm Bonnie. Oh, Bonnie? Yes. How you feeling today? Fair. Fair? Are you warm enough? I'm not too warm, but I'm I'm not cold. How many years, Bonnie, have you been coming to help take care of her? Uh ten at least. Mm. Ten years since she broke her hip. We've been coming up and taking care of her. And, and staying overnight, too. So, I mean, that's yeah, a lot of sacrifices. One night a week, spend the night with her, get her up in the morning and get her breakfast and dressed for the day. And how do you know your time? What's the whiteboard here in the house? whiteboard is your schedule. <laughs> if it's changed properly, it tells you what day you're going to be here and who's going to relieve you and seems to work pretty good. It gets confusing when somebody's out of the picture for a day or two, mm -hmm. rearranging the schedules. And but you and David have really uh, done even more than your share because you fill up all the missing places when people are going more often than not. You live very close and uh, so you everybody depends on the two of you a lot. Yeah. yeah. Somebody's got to be here with her. She can't be alone so we do what we can. Has it brought the family closer together do you think? by having that common objective of caring for her for 10 years? Yes or no. It used to be Sunday nights the family would all get together here and everybody would chat. Now you pass. Passing as uh, you <laughs> start one shift and end the another. Yeah. <laughs> to the next person. So it's not as much of a, a gathering as it used to be. But we have our Thanksgivings. Yes, we have our Thanksgiving. The one day a year that we can mostly get together and share that time. 
and occasional picnics. Mm -hmm. Get togethers here, but it's not like every Sunday nights like it used to be. But yeah, there's been that much time here. Yeah, everybody has things to do. So the uh, uh, how about her memory as she's gotten older? Uh, her short-term memory is not as good. No, not at all. So that takes a lot of patience. Yeah. For each person and caring for. Because she can't see, she can't hear. It, that makes it, it makes it difficult to. Because um, you're trying to answer her, and then when she does hear you, she thinks you're yelling at her that you're cross. So you don't want that. Then you feel bad. I'm not yelling at you. I'm trying to get you to hear. So. Most families would think they could never care for <clears throat> their parents as they get older. Most families don't have children, eight children. That makes the difference. It makes a big difference. Uh, yeah. A lot of people out there, they're the only child. And some of the elderly have no one. So they have no choice. And what about the homestead itself? Uh, with most of us being born right here in this house and her living in this house all of her lifetime. Uh, that brings us, I mean, it's like, uh, what, uh, uh, the most important spot on earth to many of us. Maybe. I, mean, I wasn't yeah. born and raised here. So. Uh -huh. Right. <laughs> Talking to the wrong person on that one. But it's so unusual uh, for somebody from really age three months of age, I think, uh, to have lived in one house for 109 years. Yes, it is. Pretty amazing. First with her grandfather uh, and Minnie Camden, mm -hmm. who was a caretaker uh, for my mom and my dad. Uh, for of, many of you older children. Yeah, for most all the older children. Um, I am going to be 78, and I think Nana died when uh, about 74 years ago. So that's a long time, but... Gary was a baby when she mm -hmm. died. Yeah. It was... Uh, but for my mom's memory, that's still pretty clear of all the things that she remembers from when Nana was alive. So the long-term memory... Long-term I mean, sometimes she forgets that Nana's gone, and then it brings up a whole other issue. <laughs> mm-hmm. But it's been a blessing to all of us, hasn't it? It's brought out the very best in each one of us as, um, as you've made such a priority in another person's life. Mm -hmm. So you are definitely appreciated. Mm -hmm. So we're planning, this is Dorothy's birthday week, and uh, so we will, this is all part of the celebration. Um, one next Monday is her actual birthday, and we hope this Saturday and Sunday uh, just to be around and um, keep special those couple of days into Monday. Mm -hmm. Thank God that she's with us. Yeah. God is not finished with her yet. No, and she's got something left to do. Yeah. My sister said that a long time ago. She said she's still here because she hasn't finished something. I said, yeah, she hasn't drove us all crazy yet. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's rolling and you can just do any kind of an intro as to who you are. Well, I'm David. I'm the youngest of eight children. And I was born and raised in this house. Yeah. I was born and raised here. And one of my earliest stories was when I used to go to school, I think it was kindergarten, it might have been first grade. And we'd have to walk down to the school where it was down in the back of the United Church in Stillwater. Mm -hmm. And I was very immature for my age, so I was kind of immature for my age. I didn't 
talk the same language as everyone else because I kind of had my own language and my brothers and sisters uh, made up for it. But I would cry when I got to school because I didn't want to be left alone. And you, in the beginning, would stand outside the window. So I could see you outside. And I still remember that. That that's the kind of love that you gave me. That you'd stand outside the school window so I could see you out there. And then by the time I started playing with the other kids, you could take off and then I wouldn't know the difference. And then I remember in earlier grade school, at lunchtime, instead of eating with the other kids, I used to run home from the old school, up home, and you'd have my, my sandwich waiting on the table for me. Mm. And I had time just to have a quick sandwich, drink milk, and then run like crazy all the way back to school. So when I got up to high school, one of my favorite things was I was on the track team because I was always running from school and back. This running was good for me. So I became uh, one of the faster kids. So when I played football, mm -hmm. I was the fastest runner on the team, though not the biggest or the strongest, but, but uh, I could run like a chicken, so <laughs> I was hard to catch. And I think that all comes back from running home so I could see my mom and have my lunch mm -hmm. when I was at school. So, do you remember that, Mom? Not, not very good. No? Well. But it, it, those memories do come back. But then, also, uh, Debbie used to have her toys laid out. She had what? Debbie used to have her dolls laid out, and you uh, would have to make up stories when we come home. You'd say, Debbie would say, what did my dolls do all day? <laughs> and you say, well, this one did that, and this one did this other thing. Well, I didn't have any dolls, but I did have a, a Zippy was my uh, little chimpanzee doll, and I had a rubber froggy that when you squeezed it, it made a funny noise. Mm -hmm. So naturally, I wanted mine to be doing things while I was at school, and you'd have to make up more stories of what all the adventures that Froggy and Zippy were up to. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. It was funny. You had a great imagination. <laughs> With Zippy jumping up all over the furniture and Froggy uh, jumping after him. I remember that as a kid growing up. Took that it's time. a wonderful thing that what a child's memory can do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But let's let's uh, lay back and see if we can remember some of them again. How about Easter time? Mm -hmm. And we'd all get brand new clothes on Easter. And what did the neighbors used to say? What did they say to you one time? I forgot. You forgot how they always enjoyed seeing the McClellan's yeah. kids all dressed up for Easter. Mm. All the girls would have new dresses and we'd have new suits. Who fell into the creek down here off the bridge? Was that Eddie who had his all new clothes? It was for something. Was that yeah. for a wedding? Jones, I forgot. Jones wedding. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh man. <laughs> He worked so hard. Who done that? Eddie. I wouldn't do that. I was much better behaved than that. Mm. <laughs> Bring back a lot of memories. Well, you cooked a lot of meals for us. Mm. And you took care of us and bought our clothes. And who'd we get our clothes from? Who was the guy who used to come by in the truck? The kitty clothes man? I forget now. And we used to have the Fryhofer truck guy come and we could buy uh, jelly donuts and, uh, and then we had a milkman. 
Don't have those anymore. Frank stayed. Yeah, Frank and... What's they were fun people. Yeah. <laughs> well... I love you, Mom. Thank you, I love you. I know you do. I know you do. What would you call me? I would call you Mom. Sometimes Ma, but most of the time Mom. Mm -hmm. What would you call me? I forget right now. You little rascal. Yeah. <laughs> little rascal. Yeah. And where did I spend most of my time as a kid? I can't remember. Up the trees. I used to climb all the trees mm -hmm. and used to tie as many ropes between them as I could. <laughs> that was fun. Mm. What was our phone number back then? Do you remember? 176J. Was it? <laughs> well, that was before that was before my time. <laughs> Then it was Morris 47018. Do you remember that? Not good. No. Slightly. How she met Dad. Do you remember you and Dad working out in the rock garden? You used to make that so pretty every spring. Hmm. That was nice. Well, a lot of good memories. This beautiful old home. Where you raised all your kids. All of them were born right in the room right next to us, except for Debbie and I. We were the modern kids. We were born in the hospital. Here is uh, the new type of exercise equipment, if you're over 100, that can get you to 107 plus. What are we going to do? Well, it's, it's time to do your exercises. We do them every time after dinner. Are you ready? First, I let's introduce mom and her age. This is mom. A hundred and seven and three quarters. And she does have a secret of longevity. She has a personal trainer who is her son, David McClements. So, and she is only five weeks away, God willing, to her hundred and eighth birthday. Now she's going to demonstrate how she is keeping her vitality. Okay, you ready, Mom? I don't know. Shoulders back, take a deep breath. Look up. High you can look. And look down. Up. And down. Up. And down. Two more times. Up. Down. Up and down. Take a deep breath. Now you're going to put your head on. Uh, now we're going to look over to your shoulder. Look over your shoulder. Now the other shoulder. Back to the other shoulder. Back to the other one. All the way over your shoulder. And back to the other shoulder. Good. Now put your head on your shoulder. Put your head right there. I can't down. do that. Yes, you can. Well, I can. And now roll it back. Your Roll your head back. Roll your head back over to the other shoulder and all the way around. 
Now what? A hat on your shoulder? No. Back? Roll your head back. And all the way around. And a big circle with our head. A big circle with our head. Over to the shoulder. All the way back. All the way around. Doesn't that feel good in the back? All the way over. Head on your shoulder. All the way back. All the way around. Now the other way. Backwards. All the way around. Oh, yeah. That makes your neck feel good from sitting in that chair. Okay, one more time. All the way around. One more. All the way around. Oh, yeah. Now, <laughs> shoulders up. Shoulders up high. Shoulders down. Shoulders down, up, and down, up, down, up, down. One more time, up, and down. Oh, yeah. Now, shoulders forward. So we're going to roll the shoulders up, back, and around. Up, back, and around. Up, back, and around. Oh, that makes your back feel so good, doesn't it? Does mine. Shoulders forward. Keep your shoulders forward. Up, back, and around. One more time. Up, back, and around. Deep breath. Let's put our hands on the table. Put my what? Hands on the table. Put your arms right up on the table. Your arms. Make a fist. Make a fist. Play the piano. Put your hands out. Spread your fingers out wide. As wide as you can get them. Stretch them out. Make a fist. Squeeze tight. And out. You got it. In. Out. In. Out. One more time. Fist tight. In. Out. Ah. Oh, deep breath. Put our arms down to our side. What? Down. Well, here. Put these in your hand. Hold on to your soups. Hold what do on. I do with it? You'll find out in a minute. <laughs> this is what you did with them. Hold on to the sides. Hold on good to them. Put your arms down to your side. I'm going to pull your chair Are back a little. Side? Yeah, hang your hands down. Bring your hands up. Praise the Lord. Both of them. Both hands up. You can't do it. Yes, you can. Well, I can. And down. Up and down. Up and down. Two more times and then you're done. Up and down. Up and down. Okay, now hold them from the side because we've got one more arm to do. Hold it on the side like that. Put your arms down to your side and then bring them up. Curl your arms. Curl your arms up. Both arms. And down. Up. And down. Up. And down. Two more times and you're done. Up. Down. One more. Up. And down. Ah, you Ooh. did great. <laughs> Take a deep breath. <laughs> I bless her. <sighs> Doesn't that feel good? Okay. Now it's your walker time. Get over what here. What have I got to do? Here's your walker. 
Dave. How far do I walk? Stand up. Dave. Time out. Yeah, I'm <laughs> hold on to your walker. Up here. You ready? Stand up. Shoulders back, head up. Deep breath. Ah. And sit down. Sit back down. Back up. Head attention. Shoulders back. Pardon? Shoulders back, head up. Deep breath. Ah. Let it out. Let it out. Sit back down. Back up. Shoulders back. Head up. Deep breath. Ah, and let it out. Okay, now we're going to go up on our toes. Up. And down. Down, up, down, one more, up, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, and down. You did great. Now what do we do? Ah. Now what? <laughs> what do we do next? What? I didn't hear. What do we do next? Oh, I think we've done about all. We do our march. Yeah. Leg up. One leg. So we're going to do our marching. March like a soldier. Up. That one down. Other one up. As high as you can. And down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Oh, that's it. One more. Just one more. Up, down, and one more up, and down. Oh, I love you so much. I love you, Mom. Thank you. Okay, now you can. Where do I go now? You can go back.